What would you say are the oddest publicity moments you've enjoyed over the past few years for both this movie and the last one? Like, I mean, for me, Celine Dion was kind of the pinnacle of that. <laughs> right, let's go. That was, a, that was a moment where we just sort of thought, well, this is insane. How the hell did we get Celine Dion to do like, a music video for Deadpool? It was just crazy. Please tell me the story of how that happened. Did you call her up? Did you bump into her a party? Well, we had a song that we, we wanted to do kind of like a Bond theme song to Deadpool 2 and, you know, sort of slightly satirize that, but also make it emotional and make it like a song you would enjoy listening to on the radio or any, anywhere else. What's left to say? These prayers aren't working anymore. Every word shot down in flames. I was like, could we get Celine Dion or something? And they just sort of looked at me like, what? But you know, are we looking for like a, that millennial hit, you know? And I was like, I, th I think millennials like Celine Dion. And uh, also she's just a legend. Sure. So I wrote her a letter. I just wrote her a letter and the, we already had the song. So I sent her the letter and sent her the song. She re obviously read that letter. She's very literate uh, and listened to the song. She's got good hearing and said yes. And then we asked if she'd be in, in, into a music video maybe. And she again said yes. Just the most beautiful song ever. I just love the song so much, and, and then they, a really fun music video. This is Deadpool 2, not Titanic. All right, you're at like an 11. We need to get you down to a five, five and a half tops. Just phone it in. Listen, this thing only goes to 11. So beat it, Spider-Man. There are jokes in the first film where when I first watched it, I went, that was Ryan saying that in the script to amuse himself. <laughs> Corinthian leather. You know that yeah. feeling of, that's a joke for us, but also that's a reference to Ricardo Montalban's old Chrysler commercial. Oh, rich Corinthian leather, yeah. I request nothing beyond the thickly cushioned luxury of seats available even in soft Corinthian leather. Well, that is niche. Yeah. Would you say that is one of the nichest things? That's probably pretty niche. There's a, there's a, some stuff in Deadpool 2 that really is just for Rat Paul and I to just laugh at. Your time's up, you dumb fuck. Well, that's just lazy writing. I like that stuff though, but I also like that there's, you know, you could sit in the theater in a screening and like, you know, the audience, we've, I've done this on Deadpool 2 where you sit in the screening and you watch and the audience is just going nuts for, for a joke that I think is like, no, that's okay. It's Sorry I'm late. I was rounding up all the gluten in the world and launching it in space where it can't not hurt us ever again. And then there'll be like this one really niche joke, but there'll be like two people on either side of the theater that will just crack up laughing because they're absolutely on track with it, but nobody else will kind of understand it. You're just a clown. Dressed up as a sex toy. So dark. You sure you're not from the DC universe? So I, I kind of like that there's jokes in there for everybody. You guys looking for the golden child? Sometimes even for me. 1980s. Eddie Murphy movie. Nobody saw it. No. People who watch the show regularly will know that I'm obsessed with blooper reels. Oh yeah. I and like the Deadpool reels. one one is a beaut. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. My favorite moment is when you, you say, "My stunt man is gonna." My stunt man's about to fuck you up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah, those are alts. What's funny is like they put our, on our blooper reel, they put alts and alts are a different thing to me. God, you look like a house fire was in another house fire. Wait, you look like a trash can full of shit was placed on your shoulders and then you were in a train fire. Like I, I, when yeah. I have a joke in the movie, I'll write like 10 more just for fun, just to, you know, cause the camera's on, it's digital. It's not like we're wasting film. Let's just you know, fire them off and see what we like. You look like Shrek took a shit on your neck. You look like the inside of other people's assholes. So there's a lot of alts in our blooper reel, but I do love, I love, I've always been a big fan of bloopers. I love, like, it's my favorite thing in home entertainment packages. <laughs> <laughs> I, die, I die. All those hours of entertainment and, and preparation, and I just want you cocking up. Yeah, exactly, I want you messing up your lines. What do you expect, Weapon X, you squirmy little pig? And then laughing about it, yeah. <laughs> Like Precisely. I love the other ult of, you're gonna leave me all alone here with Henry Winkler. You're gonna leave me all alone here with Henry Winkler? I don't even understand that one. Jesus. Like, what? <laughs> she looks nothing like Henry Winkler. Hey, I think I just wanted to say the name Henry Winkler. 
Yeah. It's a fun name. Yeah. Sorry, Gina. You know. <laughs> We've talked briefly about the marketing, which is just, you don't need me to tell you how great that is. It's a lot of fun. The top of the posters now says, from the studio that killed Wolverine. Yes. Tell me that was you. Well, that was a true story. <laughs> I mean, they killed Wolverine. By the way, I'm sort of upset about that still because I have my, one of my great goals is to do a Deadpool Logan movie. I'm really, really busy doing some stuff, and if I, uh, I learn that, yeah, yeah, don't give him too much attention. I like to think that because of your animosity, that Hugh Jackman suggested it in Logan just to screw with you. I think so. I think Hugh Jackman is responsible for 80% of my misery. Yeah. Deadpool 2 is a work of genius. It is epic. It is. You've stuck to the traditional sequel title of First Name 2. Were there ever any discussions of a Deadpool? Yeah, oh, like a colon? The Deadpool. Deadpool. Escape from Unicorn Mountain. Deadpool. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Deadpool. Suburban Commando 2. We had a ton of them. Like, honestly, a hundred of them. And I think it was just so kind of amusing to read them all mm -hmm. that we just sort of forgot to actually put one of them on the... Thing. I remember I kept getting emails from one of the studio executives saying, have you settled on a name for the movie? And we're like, I, Deadpool 2? Sounds good. That's, that's, that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. What to your mind would be the thing that was closest to getting through the gate? I know Electric Boogaloo had its moment, <laughs> which would have been really fun. I think that's the only one that really like got through to anybody. I'm gonna ask you a few quick fire questions. Do you do your own crayon work in the movies? Occasionally. Sometimes, sometimes not. When can we expect a Peter spin-off movie? Last but not least. Peter. Any power you want to tell us about? I don't, I don't have one. Um, I, I just saw the ad. I would love to see a Peter spin-off movie ASAP. I love Peter. That's probably one of my favorite characters from the film. You're in. The pool three, I love Peter. Yeah, exactly. Or, or, or we call it Absolutely Peter. Deadpool three, Absolutely Peter. How many conversations were had about dog pool? Dog pool. Now we're getting crazy in terms of like branching out. You want to keep it sort of small and personal, but dog pool would be a fun character to incorporate. I think he could appear in Absolutely Peter. Yeah, yeah. absolutely Peter, he's an animal lover. X-Men Origins Wolverine will be 10 years old next year. How will you be celebrating? Honestly, X-Men Origins Wolverine is probably one of the best things that ever happened to Deadpool. So I'll be celebrating hard. <laughs> Uh, what mementos have you kept over the two films? I kept the blue Crocs. <laughs> oh, so comfy. Also known as the big rubber masturbating boots. Mainly uh, the suit is the biggest one. I kept a suit. Yeah. When I ask people that question and they say a, a piece of clothing that's identifiable with their character, I wonder, when do you wear it? And <laughs> then I think, Halloween. Attack this, little one! Attack this! That would be a good time to wear it. You? Wolverine. I like it. I like it. You hit puberty early. And hard. Deadpool and kids. That's a match made in heaven. I think Deadpool may have been drunk. Oh, yeah. There's your spin off movie right there. Yeah. With the oh. young X Men. Yeah. Oh. And this, this is an age old question, but what advice would you give if you could give your younger self any advice oh. pre all this? Yeah, I would tell him to just take a deep breath. It's mm -hmm. going to be okay. Just you know? breathe in. One day you will be Detective Pikachu. Yes, I will. Yeah. And everything's going to be okay. Yes, exactly. That's <laughs> dream big, kid. <laughs> You're going to make it. Sir, it's been an absolute pleasure. Congratulations on the thank film. Thank you. Thank you so much. I feel like we've all had quite enough. <laughs> Thanks for watching. For more, check out my BBC iPlayer show, Movies with Ali Plump. And don't forget to listen to me on Greg James's show on BBC Radio 1 every Thursday at about quarter past six, where you can hear the very latest movie reviews from yours truly. <laughs>